local response. Beginning with Fox 23's Brooklyn DeGumbia. She's live in Broken Arrow's Rose District after observing just how much has changed there since more businesses were allowed to reopen. Yeah, it seemed that reopening restaurants is what it took for a lot of people to come out of their house today. I was right here in the Rose District last Saturday when personal care businesses opened up and not even close to as many people were out here last weekend. Today was really the most people I've seen in such a small in such a small part of town in a long time. It seems as though many people put the pandemic on pause this weekend as they enjoy the nice weather and outside dining. I think people are just itching to get out. Brian Dean is a part of this weekend's reopening strategy. His Main Street restaurant, Water's Edge Winery, started seating guests when the order went into effect on Friday. But it wasn't just restaurants on that list. In addition to eat-in dining, entertainment, movie theaters, sporting venues, gyms, churches, and tattoo parlors were also given the okay. And on Saturday, you could tell. I think people are just really enjoying walking around, getting fresh air seeing faces. Dean says they've been preparing for all of these customers. We did two things with our staff. The first thing is we asked them if they were comfortable being here and working in that environment. And the second was we, we checked everybody to make sure that they were healthy. He wants customers to feel safe, so he has masks available for anyone who wants one, but he said no one has. And he said he hasn't seen one customer come in with one on. I was expecting to see a little more masks. Uh, than I have because I, when I go to the store, I see them not seeing a single mask. However, everybody had smiles on their faces, lots of laughter. Dean says the attitude among the public is lax, but as a restaurant, they're still taking precautions against the deadly virus. They've rearranged all tables to be six feet apart and they seat parties every other table. They're also using a high grade peroxide to clean tables before they seat someone new. And waiters and waitresses aren't wearing masks at this winery. Dean said he's giving them the option if they want to or not. Although the Surgeon General now recommends everyone wear them, he said only two out of 18 of his employees decided to. Live in Broken Arrow, covering news that matters. I'm Brooklyn Degumbia, Fox 23 News. A popular